Hey, this Herman from Dragon Force here. You are watching Metal Cran TV. Oh, I'm doing good. Um, this is the first festival I've been to um, this year, actually, probably for a lot of people. Um, you know, it's, <laughs> since it's end of the May, and it's good. It's nice and sunny. I'm quite happy. Um, no, this is the only press day that I'm actually doing in a festival. You know, perfect time, it's kind of cool, you know, everyone's here and get to watch some bands, have a good time, see some friends. Um, and out afterwards, it's just a normal, normal days of doing interviews, um, you know, around Europe, then I hit Tokyo and go back, go back to London. Um, you know, unfortunately, I do want to see a few bands, but I don't have that much time because of so much press to do when you release a new album. Um, I do want to catch up with um, Matt Heafy from Trivium later um, to do some jiu-jitsu training. He's got his, um, his how do you say, touring dojo here. We're going to do some martial arts and exchange some techniques. Yeah. I think um, fans or not fans, I'll, I'll speak to both of them, uh, really. Um, it's Dragon Force, the way I always say, and, and I'm, unfortunately I'm saying it every time we make an album, do an interview about it, is we're always evolving. We're not sticking it easy and just doing the same stuff. We're always trying to push the limit and make it harder for ourselves to do so we get better at things. And on this album, all right, you hear artists say this all the time, a new album is heavier and faster. This album is heavier, heavier, I wouldn't say it's faster than the previous album, but it's definitely heavier, it's got a certain sort of a bit of flashy element into it, more riffs that we haven't really used riffs before, and really variety. I mean, we work with a producer this time, Jens Borgren, and we've never really worked with a producer before, so it's a new challenge, a new challenge, you know, brought out new ideas. Inspiration when it comes to us for the music is really everything we listen to past and present and it's hard to say what is going to come out depending on the song you, you're doing. Certain song you're going, a certain song of a style will bring out you know, uh, inspiration that you had, you know, music they listened to, I don't know, 10 years ago or, or recently. It really depends and the music on this album is so diverse compared to our previous albums that, um, you know, there's different parts of us. Again, we're able to bring elements out that people haven't seen us do. But talking to music, talking about music for me is very difficult, actually, because I'm so close to the music. People really have to listen to it a few times to get something, you know, to really see what it is. Because our music is not like just too simple. You know, the simpleness you can appreciate, but also complica complicated stuff. And a lot of the complicated stuff is what makes us different. I think um, mainly on this album is we, we had to break more rules that we set to ourselves for ourselves years ago. Years ago we kind of had for some weird reason we said we're not going to do that. We're not going to do this. Now we actually say we don't know what we're going to do. We don't care. Maybe breaking our own rules, you know, like doing the cover song, the Johnny Cash cover, Ring of Fire, to the producer thing and doing even mid-tempo songs we didn't even used to do. The first three albums, we never did a single mid-tempo song. We only brought that... Actually, first four albums, we didn't do mid-tempo songs. We only brought that on the last album. And we did it again this time and put a different twist on it. So, um, you know, I, just, just trying different things now. Because I think we have um, demonstrated that kind of speed part of us. Which still have, we still have on the new album, but we're bringing more elements, yeah. Uh, you really never stop learning. Even though you think you're going to go in with a plan, things don't always go to the plan and you have to twist and find a new solution. And this time, we have to find loads of new solutions for loads of new questions that popped up working with a producer. Um, so apart from recording in Sweden, and recording some parts in London, in England, one of the challenges I did actually, for inspiration. I know it sounds a weird thing, you know, you're just inspired by music, you think, but it's also the envi environment around you. So I did one of the guitar solo, I think two guitar solos on the Yark 
So f Zoltan for Five Finger Death Punch, he's got a massive yacht boat and I brought my portable studio to this boat and recorded two guitar solos in it, one while the boat was moving. You know, so I was, couldn't even stand still, I was moving, waving, and then Vyman made you play differently, you know, with your, with your friends around. So that was cool, and um, we're going to release some video footage on that, and people will see, that was pretty crazy. You know, you shake the tree and make things different. Yeah. Uh, I've known Zoltan for a while, and we always spoke about maybe doing something for fun in the future, or just, you know, just... Maybe, you know, it's good to get some ideas from him, you know, he's, um, he's a different kind of musician and, you know, in a, his band is great, he's got some really good ideas, so sometimes, you know, I chat to him and talk, about, talk a lot about music, so maybe one day we'll come up with something, you know, maybe do a song or something. Yes, that's right, we said we'll never do a cover song ever, 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 I guess what, we just done one. <laughs> um, we, we had different suggestions from different band members, different ideas, but that one was one that we thought had the attitude and also something that we can make it into our own. So it still sounds like a Dragon Force style twist, not just like a cover of an original that sounds almost the same. And that's why, you know, we wanted to do, we wanted to do something that you go, oh, that's Dragon Force playing that song. If you hear this song, you go, I know this song, but who's playing? Oh, that must be Dragon Force. Like that, yeah. Right, well, um, with Matt, we, put, we toured the Trivium a um, number of times, you know, since 2007. Uh, we know each other before that. Um, once we basically, the songs were almost recorded or like, you know, in the stage where we hear, we know how it sounds like and we knew we were going to add these kind of different backing vocals like from melodic low backing vocals to like rah, more aggressive one and we just thought Matt able to do all those different stuff so we were kind of afraid to ask him because we knew he was on tour you don't want to say, oh you got a week at home, why don't you record some more music but we did anyway, Fred did it, I was afraid to ask him actually to be honest I, I tried to keep some friends in the business and then Matt just said, yeah, cool, I'll do it. I said, wow, really? And he did everything in pretty much a day. And it sounded really good. Exactly what, what we wanted. So it, it worked really well. And that would be, um, you hear it really prominent on the game, actually, the way it works, the first song on the album with, with, with you know, Mark's voice. <laughs> it's always scary when you're releasing something that is not finished. It's like you know, it was it was it was in the it was it was starting in the mixing process. It hasn't been fully tuned up the way it should be. But um, the fans are really happy to hear it, and they heard a bit different kind of side, a bit thrashy side. And want to show them a little bit different that we're approaching certain songs on this album, and that the reaction been all good. You know, I think I think the haters are kind of got bored of hating us now. You know, they had the good run for a few years. You know, it's cool to hate us for a bit. Now they're kind of a bit sick of hating us, they're finding new bands to hate, so that's cool, you know. Maybe we need them back to just talk about us a little bit more again. Uh, the, the music is more diverse, for sure. There's really different stuff that you haven't heard Dragon Force do before, but it still sounds like us. So we're still bringing stuff to the table, we're not like, oh, ran out of ideas, we're still putting stuff in. Um, I wouldn't say the album is faster, it's heavier for sure. I don't think anything can go faster than Inhuman Rampage or Ultra Beatdown. Because every single song was fast. This time not every single song is fast, so it, you know, there's not as many notes as, th as those albums. However, we do have more songs, like the special edition got five bonus tracks. So we've got more music there. And the reason we wrote so many songs is we can show different parts of us again. We can show more different elements of weirdness and nice, straightforward stuff you know, done in our way. Yeah. It's hard to, sometimes it's difficult to do if you're only showing eight songs. Like on our previous albums, only had eight songs. Touring is what we do best, I think. You know, um, in our, you know, if you like that kind of energetic show. Um, so I. I think people have to see it to really experience live show, not us, but any band. 
too many people are relying on YouTube videos to see what is going to happen or filming shows live you ruin the experience both ways filming a show live you're ruining your time at the show where you're supposed to be in the moment watching back ruin it even more because always worse and watching videos it's just on YouTube it's just horrible to be honest you know I, I don't watch any live video of bands you know that has film on camera or stuff like that of shows I'm gonna see I don't want to ruin the experience and go oh this sounds like shit because how do you transfer all that sound into one microphone that small compressed again and reprojected on shit speakers most people have yeah, yeah. but more people need to talk about this and educate the world to be honest I mean it's almost like no one talk about it anymore everyone thinks accepted to go on YouTube and listen to music and go oh that sounds shit yeah, shit. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, go and enjoy the moment. Have a good time. Um, I know. Check out the album. I have to say, don't take my word for it. Listen to it and absorb it. Um, give it a few spin. I think there'll be surprise new fans that used to like us. That you know, first few albums that maybe you know moved on didn't listen to for a little bit or fans that just got into us I think they're all gonna find something something in that album they're gonna like